Alyssa. In this video, I am going to show you start to finish how to do your first direct to garment shirt on an Epson 2100. So the Epson 2100 is awesome because it not only can it do DTG, it can also do DTF. So um, if you want to print directly to shirts so that there's no hand, you can do that. It's really, really awesome. Um, and what's great is you can use pretty much any shirt. Now, most shirts are going to need to be pre-treated which it, with a special solution so that they can take the ink, specifically the white ink. However, you do not need to pre-treat white shirts, which means you can use any type of shirt. So this is a white, just old navy. Um, it is cotton, I don't know what the blend is, but it's just everyday shirt. So I'm gonna show you start to finish how to do this. Now, the next video in this series is going to talk more about how to do DTG on colored and dark shirts because you do need to make sure that you're using either pre-treated shirts or that you pre-treat those shirts, okay? So remember, this process where you are not using pre-treated shirts is only when you are using white, all right? And don't forget, you can also do direct to film, which um, is a whole nother process. So I have separate videos on that as well, okay? All right, let me meet you over in the software and we will get this shirt all ready to go. Okay, so first things first, we want to launch Garment Creator. And when you open up Garment Creator, it's going to come to your work area. So the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna click the um, icon over here um, in the top left for new. So that is going to have us select our, pre -set, our print settings. So in this case, we are doing a light colored t-shirt for standard, okay? So that just means that we are using a light color shirt with uh, CMYK coloring, okay? And then the layout settings is the default and that will be everything we need to do. So we're just gonna click okay. Now nothing changed because I had used, I was already on that setting, but just so you know, um, that is what we're gonna do. So it's giving us the print quality. Um, if you wanna change that a little bit, you can. I actually like prefer to bump this up to three to get a, a bit of a um, higher print quality. Um, but otherwise, I'm gonna leave the rest of the settings alone and then I'm just going to bring in my design. So I'm gonna click the next um, icon over for open and then I will just need to find my design. Now, mine is in a folder in my downloads um, and it's this one right here that I wanna use. You can import PNG, you can import TIFF, JPEG. Um, there's a couple different file types that you can import, uh, but I'm gonna use this one and we'll click open. That is going to open right in this area. Now, what you can see is it's very large and um, this area here is representing the platen area, the printable area on the platen. So we obviously need to in, make this a little bit smaller. So I'm just using my mouse to grab it until I get one of these corners, and then I'll scale it down as needed, okay? So um, these squares here, they're, it, this, I, don't, I don't love the rulers here, but if you use your mouse to zoom in, or you use the um, magnifier down here, you can get a, the um, rulers closer to the grid. So what you can see is that each of these full blocks, the, the where this large square is, is two inches. So that'll give you an idea of how big your design is. So for this one, for example, we've got it's two, four, six, eight, about almost 10 inches. That's a little bit big, so I'm gonna just shrink it down a little bit, okay? And then I'm gonna zoom out. now. This platen area is just a representative of the platen area. It doesn't indicate where on the shirt it's actually going to print because if you put your shirt on the platen and have the neck right here, it's obviously gonna print higher, okay? So just be aware of that when you are loading your shirt onto the carriage, okay? So this is all we need to do here. Um, we do not want to reverse our image for direct to garment. We just wanna leave it just as it is. And then you can see up here, I don't have my printer connected right now. It's it's offline. Um, that's actually one of the nice things about direct uh, about Garment Creator. You can use the software without being connected to uh, the internet or being connected to the printer. It's also obviously um, Mac and PC compat compatible. So, okay, so before we actually head over to the 2100, what we need to do is prepare the shirt. So the only thing we need to do, this is just like I said, the cotton shirt. Um, obviously, I haven't done this one yet. So um, what we're gonna do, we just wanna get all the wrinkles and any moisture out. So I'm just going to use my heat press, which is warmed up already 
um, for preparing for the direct garment. So I'm just going to place that on there and we will press that for, I don't know, 10 or 15 seconds. So for direct to garment, um, I like to do about 338, 340 um, for 75 seconds. So obviously I'm not, I don't need to pre-press that long, but that temperature is fine uh, for pressing to get the wrinkles out. So we'll just wait here, it's been 15 seconds. We'll just see. Okay, yep, this is perfect. Okay, so the shirt is now all ready to go and now we can move over to the printer and put it on the platen and then we'll send it into print and that's where the magic happens okay so we now are going to take our shirt and we're going to put it on the platen so you want to keep your platen about two or three it's going to tell you the machine will tell you if it doesn't like it and then you'll adjust it but down here um, where your lever is you're going to take this gray um, lever and just move it. I would start it at two and see how it goes. It's going to depend on the thickness of your shirt. It's going to depend if you sleeve your shirt, um, meaning putting the platen through the middle or if you lay it completely on top. So we'll just sleeve it through here. Um, now one thing, if you need to adjust when you have it sleeved through this way is a little bit harder because you're going through the neck, but it, will allow you to have your platen a little bit lower by doing it this way. Okay, so um, on the platen, there's this little set of, I don't know, five or six arrows. There's a little set of dots that make an arrow. That is the middle, and that's where you want your tag to basically line up, okay? So you got it in the middle. Okay, now I like to have my the top of my shirt or the um, collar of the shirt hanging off. And then you gotta make sure that this, the sleeve line here, seams are pretty much even, okay? And then you are gonna take your frame and put that over top, okay? Gently, you don't wanna pull because you don't wanna create wrinkles, but you wanna make sure it's smooth. And then you're gonna tuck everything in, all right? So when we're ready, now I need to connect my, the printer is not yet connected, which is why I don't have anything up here, okay? So we're gonna connect that and then this is gonna turn up blue and we'll press that and that's where the printing will begin. Okay, so you can see the printer is now connected. It is saying stand by, so it's all ready to go. So now we just are going to click this print button. Now, it is going to uh, process for a second and then it's gonna spool. You can see it's giving a status of where it is creating the job and then it's gonna say sending to printer. And then on the printer, you will actually get that blue button. Um, and once the blue, big blue button on the printer, um, it, uh, lights up then you will click print on the printer and the printing will begin So this beeping is actually the machine telling me that the platen is too high or that the fabric is either wrinkled in a spot or whatever it's too high um, and we need to drop it down. Again, we're gonna use that lever that we're gonna go underneath the platen and we're just gonna bump it down to a lower number by one and then we will um, try it one more time. So this time the printer is liking the position of the platen and none of the shirt, the wrinkles or anything are in its way so you can see that it's starting to print. Now with the uh, white shirt, we only have to do one pass because there's no white. So um, this is actually pretty quick and when it comes out, we are then going to have the um, printed image on the shirt. Now remember, you need to be very careful because when the shirt comes out, the ink is still wet. We need to cure and set it. Uh, back on the heat press. So make sure that your heat press is set to 338, 340. We're just gonna press that for between 60 and 90 seconds. Um, so get ready for that. Um, one thing that I do like to do when the shirt comes out 
um, you know, you obviously are going to remove the frame, but then if you cross your arms when you pull the shirt off of the platen, you will twist the shirt in a way that the image is facing you and it makes it really easy to then place it directly on the heat press. So once it's on the heat press, then you are just gonna cover with a piece of parchment paper, just drop it straight down, don't move it, you don't wanna spread the ink at all, and then you will close the heat press again for between 60 and 90 seconds, I usually do about 75, and after that, you are all set to go. So that's it. Once the heat press is done, you're gonna remove that parchment paper and you are all set. So what's so great about the direct to garment is you get that no hand feel. The ink is permanent. This will wash beautifully. I love doing the white because obviously you can't do white cotton with sublimation, but this is a really good other option that also actually doesn't need pre-treat. So in the next series in this video is going to be how to do direct to garment on dark color shirts, which also works really well, but we do need to add that pre-treat step in or make sure that we have pre-treated shirts so check that out as well and of course if you're interested in the uh, direct to film option I have videos on that as well all with the one Epson 2100 this dual uh, power machine is great for uh, direct to garment and direct to film and I love that it's a combo machine so check it out I have videos um, additional videos in the playlist I also have all my recommendations on uh, supplies and best bundles and everything like that in the description below. All right, you guys, I'll see you soon.